You will need six wires of uh, five different colors um, and they all need to be 10 inches in length at minimum and two of the wires will have the same color since they stand for um, tractor bus can low and implement bus can low from the machine. Um, once you have these six wires uh, you will strip um, all these wires on um, the both sides by a quarter of an inch and then um, clamp on the isobus mail pin on one of the uh, one end of the wires and then clamp um, the uh, connector pin on the other end of the wire. You don't need the connector pins on the power and the ground connections. You will then insert the wires that's responsible for the CAN connection um, onto the um, connector housings according to the pin layout um, for the CAN header on the uh, Exora motherboard. But now we will insert the pre-made wires along uh, with its uh, headers onto the ISOBUS mail port uh, with the letter and the color uh, corresponding scheme that we defined before. Make sure you uh, push in the wires so that you hear a good click. And now you can screw down the barrel connectors onto the uh, power and ground wires. So similarly to building the ISOBUS mail port, you will need six wires uh, of five different colors and two of the wires will have the same color because they stand for the can load connections for the tractor and implement bus. And the length of uh, these wires depends on how long you want your diagnostic cables to be. And after you have these uh, six wires, you will strip down uh, the both sides of uh, all your wires uh, by a quarter of an inch and then you will clamp on the isobus uh, female pins onto these wires. Using the same color to letter scheme that we used to build the isobus mail port, we will insert the same um, wires onto the ISOBUS female port. As we are using both uh, color white uh, for the tractor bus and implement bus uh, can low, um, make sure that you don't mix these two connections up while inserting the uh, female pins onto the ISOBUS female ports.